the rostering settings page is accessed via the payroll settings tab which can be found here and also here. You can find the rostering page under the business management section here. On this page you have various options such as budget settings, additional rostering features, shift cutoff times and custom notification messages. The first section here includes manager permissions. The option to managers to edit roster templates. This allows restricted users with the manage employees rosters permission, which is set on the manage users page, to create new roster templates and apply them to the roster. They are also able to edit existing rosters. These users can only undertake actions for locations and or the employee groups that they have been assigned access to. If this setting has not been selected, then only full access users can create and apply roster templates. Managers can edit roster budgets. This allows restricted users with the Manage Employee Rosters permission set on the Manage Employees page to create and or edit a budget in the roster. These users can only perform these actions for locations and or employee groups assigned to their access. As with the previous option, if this setting is not selected, then only four access users can set up the roster budget. Next is the budget section. Rostering budget warning. Here you can add what percentage the roster costs need to have to reach before they are highlighted as warning in the roster. The roster cost will change colour to an amber warning colour when the cost for the day or period have exceeded the set amount. Rostering budget entry. Here you can choose to enter the budget amount as a percentage of sales or a fixed amount. Budget amounts are entered on a per day basis. Next up is the employee permissions. The first one, employees can decline shifts that have been assigned to them, means that when a published shift is assigned to an employee, they have the option to decline it. If they decline the shift, they will no longer be assigned to the shift and it will become an unassigned shift. The next option is employees must accept shifts that have been assigned to them. Selecting this option means that when rostered shifts are published, managers require employees to accept, confirming that they will be working that shift. If both of these options are selected, default shift actions will appear. These settings will need to be configured for shifts that are not yet actioned, i.e. it has been accepted or declined by the employee. These give you the option to say that if a shift hasn't been accepted or declined by an employee within a selected time frame, these shifts will be automatically accepted or declined. If only the declined shifts option is selected, and the employees not action the shift within the time frame chosen by you, the shift will be classified as accepted. If only the accepted shift option is selected, and the employee is not accepted or declined the shift within the cutoff time frame, a separate set of default shift actions will appear. These settings do not include bidding shifts as the cutoff time to bidding shifts are configured separately. You have the option to do nothing, this means that if the shift has not been accepted or declined by an employee within the cut-off time, the shift will remain assigned to that employee. Send notifications. If an employee has not accepted or declined a shift within the cut-off time, the shift will still remain assigned to the employee, but managers will also receive an email notification advising that the shift has not been actioned. This then allows managers to then action the shift accordingly. In order for managers to receive this notification, they will need to activate the notification option within their My Notifications screen. And finally, unassigned shift and send notifications. When a shift is not accepted within the cutoff time, it will no longer be assigned to the employee in the roster, meaning it will become an unassigned shift and will be moved to the unassigned row in the roster. Managers will also receive an email notification informing them that shift has not been actioned and therefore changed to an unassigned shift. Employees will receive a notification via their chosen notification option, such as an email or SMS, advising that they are no longer required to work the shift as it was not actioned by them before the shift cutoff time. The employee reminders. This setting will only appear if the employee must accept shifts option is selected. If you choose to send a reminder, you will also need to enter how many hours before the shift cutoff time you would like the reminder to be sent. The reminder will be sent to the employee via the method chosen in the employee's pay run default screen. We'll now take a look at the shift swapping section here. 
This includes whether or not employees can swap shifts that have been assigned to them. Selecting this option means that when rostered shifts are published, employees can choose to swap their shifts with another employee if they cannot work. Employees will be provided a drop-down list of recommended employees that they can swap with. Shift swap cutoff. If shift swapping is enabled, the business will need to set a time frame of when the swap must be actioned prior to the commencement of the shift. If the swapped employee does not action the shift prior to this time frame, this swap will be cancelled and the shift will revert back to the original employee. Swap approval. If shift swapping is enabled, the business must decide the level of approval required for swap shifts. The first option here is a swap shift must always be approved by a manager before the swapped employee is assigned the shift in the roster. A swap shift never needs to be approved by a manager and therefore automatically be reassigned to the swapped employee in the roster. Or the last one, the swap shift will only need to be approved by the manager when the cost of the swap shift is higher than the original shift. If either the first or last option is selected, the manager will only need to approve the shift after the employee assigned the swap has accepted the swap. The shift bidding section here includes the ability to enable shift bidding. Selecting this option will then allow users to assign a shift to a group of employees whereby the first employee that accepts a shift will be assigned to that shift in the roster. It basically makes filling unassigned shifts an easier process for managers. This action can only be undertaken by full access users and restricted users with the Manage Employee Roster's permission. There's also a shift bidding action cutoff time. If shift bidding is enabled, you'll need to configure a cutoff time whereby employees will no longer be able to action a bidding shift after that time. The shift will no longer be viewable in the employee's portal or work zone. If the employee attempts to accept a shift after the cutoff time via the shift notification email link, an error will appear on their screen. The bidding shift will still be displayed in the roster against the bidding employees, but will also include a warning icon in the shift tile. The next one, shift bidding manager reminders. If shift bidding is enabled, the business will need to set a time frame for when managers should be notified that a bidding shift is yet to be actioned by the employees. As usual, for the manager to receive an email notification, they will need to select the email me when a biddable shift has not been accepted by the notification cutoff time option in their My Notification screen. The My Notification screen can be found on the right hand side by clicking on your name and selecting My Notifications. The last section of this page relates to custom messages. If you want to include specific content in the notification email sent to employees, you can configure that here. To add custom content, click on Edit here and the following pop-up will appear. You just need to enter your chosen text and format using the format options on the top bar, then press apply. You can also custom message for shift notification, SMS notifications. If you want to include specific content in the notification SMS sent to employees, enter the custom text in the box here and then click on save. It's important to remember to click on save anytime you make changes to the screen, otherwise your settings will not be updated. There you have it, the rostering page.